The Lego Movie The Lego Movie is a 2014 computer animated adventure comedy film written and directed by Phil Lord and Christopher Miller from a story by Lord, Miller, and Dan and Kevin Hageman. Based on the Lego line of construction toys, its story focuses on Emmett, an ordinary Lego minifigure who helps a resistance movement stop a tyrannical businessman from gluing everything in the Lego world into his vision of perfection. Chris Pratt, Will Ferrell, Elizabeth Banks, Will Arnett, Nick Offerman, Alison Brie, Charlie Day, Liam Neeson, and Morgan Freeman provide their voices for the film's characters. Plans of the film based on Lego started in 2008 and was announced by Warner Bros. in November 2011. Chris McKay was brought to co-direct the film in 2011. Much of the cast were signed in to voice the characters in 2012, while the animation was provided by Animal Logic. The film was dedicated to Kathleen Fleming, the former director of entertainment development of the Lego Company, following her death in Cancun, Mexico, in April 2013. The film was produced by the Warner Animation Group, as well as Village Rocho Pictures, Lego Sistema Slash S, Lynn Pictures, and Vertigo Entertainment. The Lego movie was released on February 7, 2014 by Warner Bros. Pictures. It became a critical and commercial success, grossing $468.01 million worldwide against its $60.00, 65 million budget, and received praise for its animation, acting, story, and humor. The Lego Movie received several awards and nominations, an Annie Award and a BAFTA, and nominations for a Golden Globe and a Grammy. At the 87th Academy Awards, the film's Everything is Awesome was nominated for Best Original Song. The Lego Movie is the first entry in what would become the franchise of the same name, which includes three more films, The Lego Batman Movie 2017, The Lego Ninjago Movie 2017, and The Lego Movie 2, the second part 2019. Plot In the Lego universe, the wizard Vitruvius fails to protect a superweapon called the Craggle from the evil Lord Business, but prophecies that a person called the Special will find the piece of resistance capable of stopping the craggle. Lord Business claims it untrue and kicks Vitruvius off the cliff. Some eight years later, in Bricksburg, construction worker Emmett Brikowski comes across Wild Style, a woman searching for something at Emmett's construction site. Emmett falls into a pit and finds the piece of resistance. Compelled to touch it, Emmett experiences visions and passes out. He awakens in the custody of Bad Cop. Emmett learns of Businessy's plans to freeze the world with the craggle, a tube of crazy glue with the label partially rubbed out. The piece of resistance is the tube's cap. Will Style rescues Emmett, believing him to be the special. They escape Bad Cop and travel to the Old West where they meet a blind Vitruvius. He and Will Style are master builders capable of building anything without instruction manuals, who oppose businesses' attempts to suppress their creativity. Though disappointed Emmett is not a master builder, they are convinced of his potential when he recalls visions of the man upstairs. Emmett, Will Style, and Vitruvius evade bad cops forces with Batman's help and escape to Cloud, Cuckoo Land where all the master builders are in hiding. The master builders are unimpressed with Emmett's cowardliness and refuse to help him fight business. Bad cops forces attack and capture everyone except Emmett and his friends. Fellow master builder Metal Beard rescues Emmett from drowning and Emmett devises a plan to infiltrate businesses headquarters and disarm the craggle. The plan almost succeeds until Emmett and his friends are captured and imprisoned. Lord Business murders Vitruvius by decapitating him with a penny, throws the piece of resistance into an abyss, and sets his headquarters to self-destruct leaving all present to die. Vitruvius reveals he made up the prophecy as he dies, but his spirit returns to tell Emmett it is his self-belief that makes him the special. Strapped to the self-destruct mechanism's battery, Emmett flings himself off the edge in the tower and saves his friends and the master builders. Inspired by Emmett's sacrifice, Wildstyle rallies the Lego people across the universe to use whatever creativity they have to build machines and weapons to fight businesses' forces. Emmett finds himself in the human world, 
where the events of his life are being played out in a basement by a young boy, Finn, on his father's Lego set. The father, the man upstairs, chastises his son for creating hodgepodges of different playsets and begins to permanently glue his perceived perfect creations together. Realizing the danger, Emmett wills himself to move and gains Finn's attention. Finn returns Emmett and the piece of resistance to the set, where Emmett possesses the powers of a master builder and confronts business. In the human world, Finn's father looks at his son's creations and sees how he based the villainous business on him. Through a speech Emmett gives business, Finn tells his father that he is very special and has the power to change everything. Finn's father reconciles with his son, which plays out as business having a change of heart, capping the craggle with the piece of resistance, and ungluing his victims with mineral spirits as Wilt style, and Emmett enter a relationship. As Finn's younger sister joins in playing with the Lego sets, Duplo aliens arrive in the Lego universe and threaten destruction. Cast Chris Pratt as Emmett Brikowski, an everyman and construction worker from Bricksburg who is initially mistaken for the special. Will Ferrell as Lord Business, an evil businessman and tyrant of Bricksburg, and the Lego universe who is the company president of the Octon Corporation, under the name President Business. Farrell also plays the man upstairs, a Lego collector, and Finn's father in the live-action part of the film. Elizabeth Banks as Lucy slash Wild Style, a tough-as-nails and tech-savvy master builder. Will Arnett as Bruce Wayne slash Batman, a DC Comics character who is one of the master builders, as well as Wild Style's boyfriend and an amateur musician. Nick Offerman as Metal Beard, a pirate-like master builder, seeking revenge on Lord Business for taking his body parts following an earlier encounter and causing him to remake his body from bricks. Alison Brie as Princess Unicity, a unicorn-slash-cat hybrid-like master builder who lives in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Charlie Day as Benny, a 1980-something space guy-like master builder who is obsessed with building spaceships. Liam Neeson as bad cop slash good cop slash scribble cop, a police officer with a two-sided head and a split personality who serves Lord Business as the commander of the super-secret police. The character's name and personality are based on the good cop slash bad cop interrogation method, which is briefly shown in the film. Neeson also voices Pa Cop, a police officer who is bad cop slash good cop's father and Ma Cop's husband. Morgan Freeman as Vitruvius, a blind and elderly wizard-like master builder. Channing Tatum as Superman, a DC Comics character who is one of the master builders. Jonah Hill as Green Lantern, a DC Comics character who is one of the master builders. Kobe Smulders as Wonder Woman, a DC Comics character who is one of the master builders. Jedon Sand as Finn, an eight- and a half-year-old boy who is the son of the man upstairs in the live-action part of the film. Additionally, Anthony Daniels, Keith Ferguson, and Billy D. Williams appeared their respective cameo roles as Protocol Droid Seaminus 3PO and Smugglers Han Solo and Lando Calrissian from the Star Wars franchise and the television series Robot Chicken. Shaquille O'Neal portrays a Lego version of himself who is a master builder alongside two generic members of the 2002 NBA All-Stars. Will Forte plays Abraham Lincoln whom he had previously voiced on Clone High, another Lord Slash Miller production. Director Christopher Miller voices as a TV announcer for the Octon comedy show Where Are My Pets? Production Development the development of the Lego movie began in 2008, when Dan Lin and Roy Lee discussed it before Lin left Warner Bros. Pictures to form his own production company, Lin Pictures. Warner Bros. Home Entertainment executive Kevin Sujihara, who had recognized the value of the Lego franchise by engineering the studio's purchase of Lego video game Life Sea Traveler's Tales in 2007 thought the success of the Lego-based video games indicated a Lego-based film was a good idea and reportedly championed the development. By August 2009, Dan and Kevin Hageman were writing the script described as action-adventure set in a Lego world. 
Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2009 directors Phil Lord and Christopher Miller were in talks in June 2010 to write and direct the film. Warner Bros. Green lit the film by November 2011 with a planned 2014 release date. The Australian studio Animal Logic, the same studio that did the animation for other Warner Bros. Films such as Happy Feet and Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahol, was contracted to provide the animation, which was expected to comprise 80% of the film. By this time, Chris McKay, the director of Robot Chicken, had also joined Lord and Miller to co-direct. McKay explained that his role was to supervise the production in Australia once Lord and Miller left to work on 22 Jump Street 2014. In March 2012, Lord and Miller revealed the film's working title, Lego, The Piece of Resistance and a Storyline. Casting By June 2012, Chris Pratt had been cast as the voice of Emmett, the lead Lego character, and Will Arnett voicing Lego Batman, the role of Lego Superman was offered to Channing Tatum. By August 2012, Elizabeth Banks was hired to voice Lucy later getting the alias Will Style and Morgan Freeman to voice Vitruvius, an old mystic. In November 2012, Alison Brie, Will Ferrell, Liam Neeson, and Nick Offerman signed on for roles. Brie voices Unikity, a member of Emmett's team, Farrell voices the antagonist president slash Lord Business, Neeson voices bad cop slash good cop, and Offerman voices Metal Beard, a pirate seeking revenge on business. Animation The Lego movie was strongly inspired by the visual aesthetic and stylistics of brick films and qualities attributed to Lego Studios sets. The film received a great deal of praise in the respective online communities, who saw the film as a praising nod to their work. Many brick film fans and a false adult fans of Lego praised the painstaking amount of detail in the production. Animal Logic tried to make the film's animation replicate a stop-motion film, although everything was done through computer graphics, with the animation rigs following the same articulation limits actual Lego figures have. The camera systems also tried to replicate live-action cinematography, including different lenses and a Steadicam simulator. The scenery was projected through the LEGO Group's own LEGO Digital Designer created as part of LEGO Design by Me, which people could design their own LEGO models using LDD, then upload them to the LEGO website, design their own box design, and order them for actual delivery, which as CG supervisor Aidan Sarsfield detailed, uses the official LEGO the saved files were then converted to design and animate in Maya and XSI. At times, the minifigures were even placed under microscopes to capture the seam lines, dirt and grime into the digital textures. Many the Spaceman was based on the line of Lego space sets sold in the 1980s, and his design includes the broken helmet chin strap, a common defect of the space sets at that time. Miller's childhood space village place it was used in the film. Post-production The Lego Movie was the first theatrical feature film produced by Warner Bros. Animation's new feature film division Warner Animation Group, and was released over ten years after the box office failure of Warner Bros. Feature Animation's final film Looney Tunes, back in action in 2003. The film's total cost, including production, prints, and advertising P&A, was $100 million. Half of the film's cost was financed by Village Roadshow Pictures and was the only film in the franchise that Village Roadshow ever had involvement working on. The rest was covered by Warner Bros., with Rat Pack Dune Entertainment providing a smaller share as part of its multi-year financing agreement with Warner Bros. Initially, Warner Bros. turned down Village Roadshow Pictures when it asked to invest in the film. However, Warner Bros. later changed its mind, reportedly due to lack of confidence in the film, initially offering Village Rocho Pictures the opportunity to finance 25% of the film, and later, an additional 25%. Music The film's original score was composed by Mark Mothersbaugh, 
who had previously worked with Lord and Miller on Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2009 and 21 Jump Street 2012. The Lego Movie soundtrack contains the score as the majority of its tracks. Also included is the song Everything is Awesome written by Sean Patterson L. Tiger, The Adventures of Manny Rivera and Robot Chicken, Joshua Bartholomew, and Lisa Harriton, who also performed the song in the movie under the name Joe Lai. The single, released on January 27, 2014, is performed by Tegan and Sara featuring The Lonely Island, Andy Samberg, Akiva Schaffer, and Jorma Tacon, who wrote the rap lyrics, and is the first song played in the end credits of the movie. The soundtrack was released on February 4, 2014 by Water Tower Music. Theme Song The film's theme song, Everything is Awesome, has been critically praised and has undergone some close analysis. In an interview with Fox News, producer Mark Motherspaw says the song was supposed to be like mind control early in the film. It's totally irritating, this kind of mindless mantra to get people up and working. It's like the whip crack on their back, but then by the end of the movie it morphs into instead of being just a mindless, go-to-work song it becomes about co Marketing and release Lego released a number of building toy sets based on scenes from the Lego movie. The Lego movie premiered on February 1, 2014, at the Regency Village Theater in Los Angeles. It was originally scheduled for general release on February 28, but the film was moved up to February 7. The film was released in Australia by Rojo Films. Warner Bros. Home Entertainment released the Lego movie for digital download and on DVD and Blu-ray on June 17, 2014. At the same time, a special Blu-ray 3D Everything is Awesome edition also includes an exclusive Vitruvius minifigure and a collectible 3D emic photo. Reception Box Office The Lego Movie grossed $257.08 million in the United States and Canada and $210.03 million in other territories for a worldwide total of $468.01 million. Deadline Hollywood calculated the film's net profit as $229 million, accounting for production budgets, marketing, talent participations, and other costs, box office grosses, and home media revenues placed it third on their list of 2014's most valuable blockbusters. In the United States and Canada, exit polling showed extensive diverse attraction across a variety of audiences, Caucasians making up 64%, Hispanic 16%, African American 12%, and Asian 8%, with a total of 41% being under the age of 18. The Lego movie was released with the Monuments Men and Vampire Academy on February 7, 2014. It earned $17.02 million on its first day, including $425,000 from Thursday night previews. The film debuted earning $69 million from 3,775 theaters. Its second weekend earnings dropped by 28% to $49.08 million, and followed by another $31.03 million the third weekend. The Lego movie completed its theatrical run in the United States and Canada on September 4, 2014. Worldwide, the Lego movie earned $69 one cent million in its opening weekend in 34 market. On its opening weekend elsewhere, the top countries were the United Kingdom $13.04 million, Australia $5.07 million, Russia $3.09 million, Mexico $3.08 million, and France $3.01 million. As of March 2022, its top international markets were the United Kingdom $57 million, Australia $20 million, and Germany $13.01 million. Critical Response The Lego Movie was met with nearly unanimous positive reviews. On the review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, 96% of 253 critics' reviews are positive. The website's consensus reads, Boasting beautiful animation, a charming voice cast, 
laugh-a-minute gags, and a surprisingly thoughtful story, the Lego movie is colorful fun for all ages. Metacritic, which uses a weighted average, assigned the film a score of 83 out of 100 based on 43 critics, indicating universal acclaim. Audiences polled by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of a on and a plus to F scale. Michael Richchaffen of The Hollywood Reporter wrote, arriving at a time when feature animation was looking and feeling mighty anemic. Drew Hunt of the Chicago Reader said the filmmakers filled the script with delightfully absurd one-liners and sharp pop culture references, with A. O. Scott of the New York Times noting that pop culture jokes ricochet off the heads of younger viewers. Joel Arnold of NPR acknowledged that the film may be one giant advertisement, but all the way to its plastic matte foundation, it's an earnest piece of work a cash grab with a heart. Peter Travers of Rolling Stone called the film sassy enough to shoot well-aimed darts at corporate branding. Michael O'Sullivan of the Washington Post said that, while clearly filled with affection for and marketing tie-ins to the titular product that's front and center, it's also something of a sharp plastic brick flung in the eye of its corporate sponsor. Moira MacDonald of the Seattle Times, while generally positive, found it falls apart a bit near the end. Alonso Duralde of The Rap said the film will doubtless tickle young fans of the toys. It's just too bad that a movie that encourages you to think for yourself doesn't follow its own advice. The Lego movie was included on a number of best of lists. It was listed on many critics' top ten lists in 2014, ranking 15th. Several publications have listed the film as one of the best animated films, including Insider, USA Today 2018, Rolling Stone 2019, Parade, Time Out New York, and Empire All 2021. The film was also named by filmmaker Edgar Wright and Time Film critic Richard Corliss as one of their favorite films of 2014. Other Response Conservative political commentator Glenn Beck praised the film for avoiding the double meanings and adult humor I just hate. Oscar host Neil Patrick Harris referenced the Lego movie not being nominated Best Animated Feature, which many critics considered a snub, saying prior to the awards presentation, if you're at the Oscar party with the guys who directed the Lego movie, now would be a great time to distract them. U.S. Senator Ron Johnson criticized the film's anti-corporate message. That's done for a reason, Johnson told Wise Politics. Calm, they are starting that propaganda, and it's insidious. The comments were criticized by many, and Russ Fingold brought up the comments on the campaign trail during his 2016 Senate bid against Johnson. Accolades Other media, 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 media. In 2014, an adventure video game, the Lego Movie Video Game, was released for multiple platforms. Lego Dimensions 2015 features characters from several media franchises, including the Lego Movie. The Lego Movie 4D A New Adventure is a 4D film at Legoland, Florida, that has been in operation since 2016. Written and directed by Rob Schrab, the 12-minute attraction stars A.J. Locasio as Emmett, with Banks, Bree Day, and Offerman reprising their respective roles, while Patton Oswalt plays President Business's brother, Risky Business. Follow-ups Warner Bros. released two spin-offs in 2017, The Lego Batman Movie and The Lego Ninjago Movie. Both films set in different universes apart from the Lego Movie 1. The Lego Batman movie was considered a success, while the Lego Ninjago movie was a failure. A television series, Unikity, 2017-2020 focuses on the eponymous character Tara Strong and her friends. The Lego Movie was followed by the Lego Movie 2, the second part in 2019. Following the financial failure of the Lego Movie 2, Universal Pictures set a five-year film deal with the Lego Group.